Season 1, Episode 3. As John left the vibrant energy of the community gathering, the echoes of music and laughter still resonating in his ears, he felt a profound shift within himself. The night had been a tapestry of traditions and tales, igniting a curiosity about his roots and the legacy left by his parents. Walking through the dimly lit streets under the starry sky, he felt drawn to a more intimate, reflective space, his auntie's house. Arriving at the quaint house, John found solace in its familiar embrace. The warm glow from the windows beckoned him inside, promising a continuation of his journey into the past. Pushing open the door, he was greeted by the comforting scent of lavender wrapping him in a blanket of nostalgia and warmth. Inside, the room was bathed in the warm glow of the setting sun, casting long shadows that danced gently across the walls. John sat beside his auntie's rocking chair, the rhythmic creaking of the old wooden floor a familiar soundtrack to their countless conversations over the years. His auntie, with her silver hair glimmering in the fading light, turned to him, her eyes a blend of love and sorrow. She held a cherished family photo, its edges worn from years of reminiscing. Your parents were fighters, John. She said softly, her voice rich with the weight of memories. They faced hardships that would have broken most people, but they never gave up. John felt a pang of guilt as her words stirred a tempest of doubt and determination within him. He had always struggled with living up to his parents' legacy, feeling the weight of their sacrifices like an unyielding force upon him. His auntie's words echoed in the room, bringing with them a storm of emotions. She continued in a reflective tone, her gaze drifting into the distance. Your father was a dreamer, always reaching for the stars, she mused. And your mother, she had a strength that could move mountains. Together they were unstoppable. John nodded, lost in memories of the parents he had lost at a young age. Their absence had left a void in his life, a longing for the guidance and warmth only they could provide. His thoughts drifted back to cherished moments, to the wisdom his parents had imparted. His auntie's piercing insight brought him back to the present. You have the same fire in you, John, she said, her eyes locking onto his. You may feel lost now, but you carry their spirit within you. Embrace it and you'll find your way. Her words struck a chord within John, igniting a newfound understanding of the legacy he bore. A sense of change blossomed in his heart, a flicker of resilience and determination smoldering beneath his doubts. He realized he carried his parents' strength within him, a realization that filled him with a renewed sense of purpose. The evening enveloped them in its gentle embrace, and they sat in silence, bound by the weight of their shared history. In that moment, amidst the fading light and the lingering scent of lavender, John felt a glimmer of hope kindling within him, guiding him toward the path his parents had paved with unwavering love and resilience. The conversation with his auntie continued, weaving through the years of his upbringing, the tales of his parents' adventures and struggles and the legacy they had left behind. She spoke of the community's history, of the changes it had undergone, and how his parents had been pillars within it. Your mother had a vision for this town, she said, her voice tinged with pride. She believed in the power of community and helping each other grow. And your father, he had the courage to stand up for what was right, even when it was difficult. John listened, each word painting a picture of his parents he had never fully seen. He understood now that his journey was not just about discovering his roots, but also about understanding the responsibilities that came with his heritage. As the night deepened, their conversation turned to John's life abroad the experiences he had, and the lessons he learned. His auntie listened intently, her eyes reflecting both the joy of his achievements and the sorrow of his absence. You've grown so much, John, she said, reaching out to hold his hand. 
but remember no matter where you go this will always be your home you are a part of this land and it is a part of you these words resonated with John tying together the experiences of the evening and his deep-seated feelings of belonging and identity. It was a profound realization that his journey was not just about finding himself but also about redefining his relationship with his homeland. After the profound evening with his auntie, where the past and present merged into a poignant tapestry of family history and personal reflection, John felt a stirring within him. Her stories of resilience and the powerful legacy of his parents resonated deeply, awakening a desire in him to reconnect with his roots and his own inner strength. As dawn approached John, lying awake was enveloped in a deep sense of purpose. He realized that his journey in Kalulushi was far from over. There were aspects of himself and his heritage that he had yet to explore and understand. Motivated by this newfound determination, he decided to undertake a journey into the heart of the land that shaped him, seeking both a connection with nature and a deeper understanding of his own identity. Chapter 2 Scene 1 John found himself on the cusp of Kalulushi's dense forests, his backpack brimming with essentials for the day's expedition. The brisk morning breeze, laden with earthy fragrances and wild greenery, whisked him back to his youth, a time when these woods were his realm of play. Embarking into the wilderness's embrace, map in hand, John was swept up in an exhilarating familiarity. Paths partially reclaimed by the wilderness whispered tales of simpler days. His mission was more than just a walk. It was a quest to bask in the homeland's natural splendor and find solace in this lush haven. Dappled sunlight streamed through the treetops, painting a kaleidoscope of light and shadow on the forest floor. With each mindful step, John rekindled his bond with this land that molded his early years. Birdsong filled the air, an orchestra heralding the wild heart of Kalulushi's expanse. This voyage was more than a mere physical undertaking. It was a pilgrimage through memory's lanes, every tree veiled in familiarity and mystery. Each trail bent an echo of youthful escapades. As he delved deeper, the land's rugged charm mirrored his inner odyssey. He wove through bramble thickets and overgrown trails, his strides echoing the resilience inherited from his forebears. The forest buzzed with life, rustling foliage in the scurry of tiny creatures. With every step John felt a profound union with the earth, anchoring him deeper into his roots. As time unfurled, the forest unveiled its diverse moods. Here, the canopy parted, revealing the sky's azure canvas. There, thick greenery enveloped him. He stumbled upon a stream, its waters singing over stones in a serene lullaby. With each stride, John's thoughts meandered, intertwining with his auntie's tales from the previous night. Stories of his parents, anecdotes of his childhood, merged with the forest's ambiance, weaving a rich tapestry of his existence. Yet, the woods were not merely a cradle of nostalgia. They presented challenges. The trail, fading into the wild, demanded his instinctive navigation, honed during years away from these lands. Abruptly, rain cascaded down, weaving through leaves in a symphony of sound and motion. The forest transformed, essence intensified, colors deepened and the path grew slippery. Clad in rain-soaked garments, John pressed on, embracing nature's raw, untamed essence. In this deluge, John's focus shifted to the present. Rain, earth, towering trees, all spoke of life cycles, endurance, and his deep-seated connection to this land. A profound sense of belonging enveloped him, realizing this journey was as much about understanding his world's place as rediscovering his past. Engrossed in the rain-drenched beauty, John noticed he'd veered off the beaten track. His map was of little aid in this transformed realm familiar landmark shrouded in mist. Adventure mingled with caution, acknowledging the wilderness's unpredictability. In this solitary communion with nature, John felt a kinship with his ancestors. Their stories, interwoven with this land, seemed to animate around him. 
The rain spoke of perseverance, the earth of resilience, and the trees stood as silent guardians of time. Pressing forward, his heart thrummed with a blend of effort and thrill. Each step was a dialogue with the land, a dance of harmony and challenge. The Kalulushi wilderness was not just a backdrop. It was a participant in a wordless conversation. As dusk approached, the rain subsided and sunlight pierced the canopy, creating an almost mystical light play. John found himself in a clearing, a natural sanctuary where the forest opened to the sky. Pausing, he absorbed the serene splendor of this haven. Here, in the forest's heart, John unpacked a modest meal, reflecting on his journey, the physical trek, and the emotional voyage through memories and heritage. He realized the forest's evolving landscape mirrored his own transformation. As the day waned in the forest's embrace, John's path took an unexpected twist. The trail snaking through the dense woods led him to an unseen marvel, the Moonlight Place, a hidden jewel in Kalulushi's wooded embrace. This spot, birthed from the dreams of Chando and Mueshi, a couple who ventured from the UK to forge their utopia, was a mesmerizing blend of nature's grace and human artistry. The Moonlight Place, with its quaint architecture and verdant gardens, stood as a symbol of dreams realized, nestled perfectly within the wild's embrace. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. If you did, please don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and tap the notification bell. Also, please share this story with your family and friends. If you have any questions or anything you'd like to discuss with me about the story, or indeed the series we've been featuring on this channel titled How to Build in Zambia While Living in the Diaspora, do get in touch. I'll make sure to respond to you God bless you and I'll see you in the next video podcast next week.